So my name's Graham Seed and I'm from Middlesbrough and I've been asked to uh, help to make this short documentary on not such a pleasant experience that I had, which was homelessness. Uh, my homelessness began in 1991 uh, when I came back from prison. I was in prison in Leeds. Uh, I tried to change my life and went to Wakefield and ended up getting sent to prison again. So the reason I want to tell you this short story is because every person who's homeless has a story. There's a story behind why they're on the street, why they're addicted living with a dog and a blanket on the street begging. And um, I would like to say this, that nobody at school, in the juniors or senior school, ever puts a hand up when the careers officer comes around and says, I want to become a homeless person when I'm older, or I want to die when I'm 23, a frostbite or an alcohol poisoning or an overdose. But this is life. Mine began when I was a little boy. My, my life was spiralling out of control very quickly. I longed to be loved, I longed to belong somewhere. I went in search of it, firstly in the gang. The first gang I was in, which just brought me, get me into trouble, uh, with the police and going to jail. I come out of that prison situation, ended up again searching for a bigger audience. So I became a football hooligan and um, got injured a lot of times and my nana died and my mum had disowned me and uh, my, my life was gone really. And then my only chance was to go to Wakefield, which I did when I got out of prison. And I messed that up. So in 1991, 92, I spent two years in prison, I, got, I did a year. I come back in 92, November, and um, was depressed, suicidal. Now, people might think that that was your choice, you, you become very selfish, which I did. But nevertheless, there was a story behind it, and uh, my story was I became addicted to alcohol and drugs, so much so that I lost everything. I didn't have a home. My home was a bench, I lived in the bushes. Um, I slept, slept in the rain, the snow, the ice. Sometimes I'd wake up, my, my trousers and my t-shirt were stiff through ice because it rained the night before. And my, my, uh, my trousers were stiff with ice. Or I weed myself because near the end of my time on that bench, my bowels give way and I nearly died. And uh, here I am today to tell you this story. But sadly, I've been to many funerals of people who have died, 23 year olds. The estate that we're doing this filming on was the first time I'd ever come across a kid, 23 year old, who died on our estate. He died through overdose, um, he'd been homeless. Uh, many other people have died with frostbite, uh, um, uh, liver failure. Um, and all kinds of problems. So I want to tell you some of that. Every person that you come across on the street who's laid there has got a story. Mine was my own choices. They maybe have made the wrong choices themselves. But what I want to say to you is that nobody ever chooses to become homeless. It's a set of circumstances that happen. Divorces, um, you know, loss of money, gambling, they lose everything and become homeless. Many people don't have any sympathetic ears and they say, well, it's their fault. It may be their fault, but how, how are we going to help them? Give them a chance. Remember, when you pass someone on the streets, remember that there's a story behind that, that man or that woman on that street. Okay, thank you.